Yeah, yeah you did an amazing so. job. You did but great. What did um. What was the surprising? You know, we all love and know Biggie, but to do research on him, you find out a lot more. What did you find out that you didn't know about him before? Well, I'm from Brooklyn, so we already you knew already everything, right? We already tapped in. The fuck is this? Page of me at five forty six in the morning, crack of dawn, now I'm yawning. Oh, okay. You from Brooklyn now? If you from Queens or how you know you ain't tapped, you probably be with Nas or something mm -hmm. like that, but. We was already tapped in, so that was kind of like, um, I guess you would call it a cheating stage. Or, <laughs> you know, you're from there, so you know. Exactly. You know what I'm just yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. Me. I like I said, you, when I heard rap, I was like, dude, was he rapping when when Biggie was alive? Was you rapping? Mm -hmm. So basically, you were rapping. You were from out there. Did, did people compare y'all back then before he nah, passed? We, nah, not, not, not like that. Mm -mm, not okay. Y'all style is totally different. Yeah, everybody said nah, the style is I mean, different. The, the flow is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, the flow is different. Flow. Things, but, mm -hmm. yeah. but you know that was that was the pioneer. So we follow him. You know what I'm saying? How big was that though? When you with your career like it is, and you being the look and having the demeanor that you have. When they see, like, after you passed and you did the movie role, did you still pursue music or you didn't mess with music anymore? Nah, I still, I still, I mean, I still do music. I still, you know, it's going to be a love of my life forever. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I just chill. I just be doing that and doing films and just, you know. I don't you know. know how you find time for music because every time I look up, there's a film coming out with you yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's still work. It's just about working. Right. About being the best at what you do on your craft. And I think growing up in New York, like you're saying, had a lot to do with that for the main fact that that grind was built in you from birth coming up. Right, right. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, basically, man, like I said, when I look at you, man, that movie, that role was a big role. Was it being in the industry like you are and being in all these movies, was that movie kind of hard to get past or, or was you able to move on into other roles easily? But before you even get into that, how did you get that role? It's the heavy set one with the big gun and the sweet you won't end up like those worthless bums you hang with. Don't you see that? Just being gravy. Just being gravy. All the work I've put into doing that and Puff saying, yo, I want you to try for big and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Just work. Just work. Okay. Yeah, so, so. yeah, so he's seen it. He he ever did he's seen it. Yeah, he's seen the vid I mean Mark Pitts and Wayne Barrow seen it. You know, Miss Wallace, she called the shot, so, you know, she um when she seen me, she seen it. So that was good enough for me. Man. How long before that were you actually acting? No, I never did no acting. I was just rapping, being great. Wow. So did you have to do acting classes? No, I wasn't in that world. I was just being gravy, just being an artist at that time. But yeah. then, not to get that role, like you know, before they started shooting our auditions and stuff. Right. Yeah, audition, and we did um, a Biggie boot camp. Like we put our own little Biggie boot camp together, and we did things and. I went to Juilliard and I studied and all that, but me chasing it, nah, that wasn't that wasn't in the forte. Mm. Wow. Um, after that, being the the gravy and then turn into this actor, like it did it, it put a lot more exposure on you. After that was a big role. Make it. We all make it. If I don't make it, not going back on the block. Not if I take this bid for you. Mm. Right. Yeah, yeah. Amazing role. So how long did you have to, uh, like, going into it, prepare, like, yourself mentally to, like, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to kill this role? Or was you, like... Um, we did about six months before we started. Really? Yeah, we worked. We worked. Wow. We worked. Yeah, because Man. it was just, like, you can't just go in there and just think you just, um... It's not a light switch. You can't just turn it on and off like that. Tell Puff I'm down with chasing the dream. Whatever he want me to do, I'm in. Yeah, he got sex appeal like LL? Yeah. You know, turn it all the way on. Wow. You know I mean, you got to really study and do the um, uh, acting classes and voice dialect and movements and mannerisms. And I watched a lot of tapes. You did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watched a lot of tapes on what hand he used, which hand, right, left, how he talked to um, Lil' Kim, how he talked to Faith, how he talked to D-Rock, how he talked to C. Like, he wore many hats at certain times. They got Snoop, they got Dre. The East Coast, they just waiting for somebody to fill that void. Puff, maybe in the right hands, I could be one of the great. Man, you killed so that role. Yeah. Thank you so much, bro. Appreciate it. You it's killed that hoe, man. I, mean, I get a little, I'm a yeah. wild boy. So, because nah, I, cause I, cause I, I get excited because of our culture and our people, man. Like I say, for us to be able to tell our story now, yeah, we never actors, had this opportunity before. Right. It's all love. Some actors can embody a character and some actors do the best they can. Yeah, yeah. yeah you did an amazing job. You did but great. What did, um, 
what was the surprising? You know, we all love and know Biggie, but to do research on him, you find out a lot more. What did you find out that you didn't know about him before? Well, I'm from Brooklyn, so we already... You knew already everything. Ta- right, we already tapped in. The fuck is this? Page of me at 546 in the morning. Crack a dawn. Okay. You're from Brooklyn now. If you're from Queens or how you know you ain't tapped, you probably be with Nas or something mm-hmm. like that. But we was already tapped in, so that was kind of like, um, I guess you would call it a cheating stage. Or, <laughs> you know, you're from there, so you know <laughs> Exactly. You know what I'm it's just like going to Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got to know... Where you at? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I took I took a um my first trip to Jamaica was me and Movado. Mm. Gully God. Me so and So you got all the inside. Um yeah, because I mess with I mess with Movado, I mess with Bounty Killer, I mess with Buja? Beanie Man, I mess nah, I don't, I don't know Buju. Okay. But um Beanie Man, mm-hmm. Bounty Killer, Movado, I met Datas. Mm. Tivoli, I mess mm. with Foot the Hype, Trooper okay. Chalupa. You know, I'm from Brooklyn. So wow. going out there in Cassaba Peace and Kingston and all that was beautiful. I stayed out there two, three months. And Where I, did you stay? I stayed in Tivoli with Dadas. Really? Dadas? Yeah, big, 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 wow. big, big, big move. Because, of course, like I tell people all the time, when people ask me about Kingston, because I'm from Kingston, mm-hmm. I say a certain area like Tivoli Garden, Arnett Garden, and all those places, mm-hmm. don't go in those places unless you know yeah. somebody. No, we party. I, I was with the, with the boss, man. We yes. Party, and we had a wonderful time. And um, at that time, it was, it, was, it was a lot going on because, you know, like, I mess with Beanie Man, I mess with Movado, I mess with Bounty Killer. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's the Gully, then it's the Alliance, then it's, it's three different crews. So it's a little hectic, but yeah, you, you had know, to learn though. Yeah, it was hard, <laughs> you, but, you know, I had a great time. That's good. It's That's good. good. I know when we went over there, you, you luckily we knew yeah. somebody. We were going yeah. everywhere. Mm-hmm. You, we would was it Sean Paul's bodyguard, uh, bodyguard yeah. and yeah, he took us to everything. Yes. Yeah, you got to know the bosses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and and the way he explained it to me, I was like, dude, what am I doing? You saw me told me, I won't say it right now, right. but it's like, why am I in here? We should be in here. Right. <laughs> but you just got to know where you at and be with the right That's people. That's everywhere you go. Yeah. yeah, real talk, man. Like, New York, man, like you guys, man, the culture, that's the mecca for the rap, man. Like, I always give it up, man. I'm a big I rock him, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Listen, man, I ain't playing no games. when it co- I, 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 I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke. I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke. Now I slam it when I'm gonna make sure it's broke. When I'm going, I want to You know what I'm saying? Big Daddy Kane. Yeah, loved it. Big Daddy Kane, man. Mm -hmm. Like when he was dancing and and, and them boys was with him too. I never wonder what happened to them two boys. I like to talk to him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.